you a GTO parent? I'm a GTO parent? Why am I a GTO parent? I'm not, I'm not a GTO parent, I'm a Moto to. I'm a Moto to parent. Hello! Lao I may you with you. Hey, hey, a lot of my students ask me how to translate a few very common Chinese phrases into English. And unfortunately, sometimes translating things directly doesn't always work. You know, translating a chair, easy chair is very easy, but translating kind of feelings, uh, emotions in a situation, it's not so simple to translate. So a very popular phrase in Taiwan, which my wife always says to me, is How would you translate this? I'm a scooter? The thing is, in English and in our culture, we don't really say that to people. There is some translations for jita. We could say somebody is very fickle, which means you always change your mind. But we don't really say that to somebody. We won't say to them, oh, you're so fickle. That's strange. We don't say that. We would say something like, oh, you're really annoying. That's what we would say. Or we would just simply say, hey, stop changing your mind. Choose one. But of course, you'd also use jita in different situations. Like, I would say to my wife, even jita, when she's going to buy a book. She's going to buy a new book. She looks at the book. Oh yeah, I like this one. I'm going to get it. And she's about to get it. And there's something a little bit wrong with the cover of the book. So she'll take it back and get another one. For me, that's really <laughs> But that's not being fickle. In English, that would be being picky. It's a bit unusual for somebody to say that to somebody. Oh, you're so picky. But we would say that about someone. Yeah, she's really picky. So you see, sometimes translating is not as simple as just this means this. It also depends on your situation. It also depends on your feeling. So don't always trust your Google translation. It's much better to have an English course with Now I May. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I have to now go and find my salt and vinegar chips. Where are they? Ah!